Hey there ladies and gentlemen, Juan Romero here from Switch Watch along with Jordan and James and today we're looking at the best Nintendo Switch 3D platformers. Granted there isn't a huge amount on the Nintendo Switch but here are the ones that are very good if that's what you're after. Before I get into it though, let's have a look at some of these great easy SMX controllers to give away and all you have to do is leave me a comment on which game you like the best out of this list and we'll give one away a week for four weeks, the winners will be announced on our weekly series videos, either bargains or physicals, so stay tuned for those every Sunday and Monday. You can also get 25% off if you visit the Easy SMX website. Details in the description if you use our code. Let's get into the top 3D platformers. First up is Snake Pass, one of the first games on the Switch. And while this can be a frustrating experience at times, we think it is a very good 3D platformer game, rather unique too. Here you take control of Noodle the Snake and his hyperactive friend, Doodle the Hummingbird. Imagine being named Noodle and then meeting a bird called Doodle. It is almost meant to be. What I liked about this is that it is a physics-based platformer that forces players to assess areas and how to accomplish certain tasks that only a snake could. There are 15 levels here too, which we found to be charming and challenging at the same time. If you want something different to anything on this list, then it's certainly recommended, especially at its lower price point. Hey Squan, how's it going everyone? It's James here and my first pick is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now this includes all three games most of us probably enjoyed whilst we were younger, but here you get all three in one great package including the original Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back and Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, all remastered so they look great. Granted, the gameplay has aged, but it is still fun to relive some of those moments. And for those that have never experienced the game, they are still a little fun and you are in for a treat. If you love platformers, then you can't be without this one in your collection. And of course, speaking about Crash Bandicoot, this brings us on to the newest version. Yes, Crash Bandicoot 4, a game we have been waiting for ages for. So aptly named Crash Bandicoot 4 about time. Neo, Cortex and Tropy are back causing havoc, not only going after the universe, but the multiverse as well. Crash and Coco are back to stop that from happening. And here we have our favorite marsupial in a new adventure with lots of jumping, trap avoidance in alternative dimensions, more playable characters and crazy bosses to beat. It is a great game with stunning visuals and a soundtrack. And of course, that all important addictive gameplay. Another of our favoured mascots back in the day was Spyro the Dragon and the reignited trilogy gets much of the same treatment with spruced up visuals in HD with all three games having been remastered. There's more than 100 levels here in this package and I enjoyed reliving the past and playing these three wonderful platformers. They are super simple to play so anyone in the family can get involved in this delightful world. Spyro is a great cute character able to jump, glide and of course blow fire to take down those pesky enemies. Again, while not the newest of games, these are still very enjoyable, especially now that all three games have been remastered on the Nintendo Switch. Mario Odyssey is probably the top 3D platformer on this list, I don't care what anyone says. It's a brilliant game from Nintendo. Princess Peach is getting married to Bowser. Wait, what? Mario ain't gonna stand for that, so the adventure is all about going to different worlds and trying to catch up with him and crash the wedding. The Brutals are not gonna make that easy though, but you have a very special hat this time around called Cappy, allowing all sorts of new and innovative moves to help you out. For the collectors amongst you, you'll want to find all those power moons and and boy are there a lot of them. The worlds are gorgeous, the soundtrack is perfect and that all important fun gameplay which is still as addictive as ever is present and correct. This is one of the best Mario adventures and if you're serious about your platforming games then this has to be number one in your collection. Sticking to Mario then we have three games in one with Super Mario 3D All-Stars which includes three classic games all improved in terms of visual fidelity and optimized for the Nintendo Switch. We've got Super Mario 64 which was one of the N64's best games, it was a good while ago and it was just such a great adventure and Mario's debut in the 3D world. It was a big change at the time but one where folks need not have worried because Nintendo really pulled it off. 
Super Mario Sunshine was on the GameCube all the way back in 2002 and was another quality Mario game. And lastly, we have Super Mario Galaxy, which was one of the top games on the Wii U and lots of people's favorites. All three are now playable on the Nintendo Switch, which is great for those of you that want to replay all three adventures. Or if you manage to miss one of these for one reason or another, now you have access to them. Lastly, from Mario, we have Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, which was added especially for the Nintendo Switch. Here we have Mario, Luigi, Peach and Toad, where you can take control of these wonderful characters with friends or family. You can play either online or locally in this enhanced version of the game. In Bowser's Fury, you get to team up with Bowser Jr. to stop his father's rampage. You'll run across a series of islands and collect the mysterious cat shines whilst battling Fury Bowser when he appears. A really nice addition and a fantastic game to play either solo or with friends or family. Fee is a platformer that we found to be unique and we enjoyed the story that was being told here. The visuals and the soundtrack are also pretty good as well. Gameplay especially in the platforming sections can be good at times but frustrating in others. Stealth sections are also a little bit on the easy side. We found it to be a compelling world to explore with its dark gothic themes and a game which if you have not played yet is certainly one we think you should try if you can find it on sale. We absolutely love Poise, such a simple premise in exploring the lands and collecting medallions. To become a true master explorer, there are some truly magical worlds here to explore and we really love the visuals and soundtrack which stands out. You get to unlock new costumes fit for any explorer and this really takes the platforming aspect of gameplay mechanics seriously with jumps, wall jumps, triple jumps and the ability to run along walls as well as well as flying and taking photos along the way. Do not dismiss this one as I bet that for many, it will be one of your favorite platformers on this list. Let me know in the comments down below. Now for us, we think that the Blob 1 and 2 are really a bit underrated. These are great fun platformers. Our protagonist is a blob of paint and a struggling artist. So what do you do but go out and replace the drab which is your very goal. Chroma City is controlled by a corporation that seems to think that grey is the only colour going and here you get to flip, bounce and smash your way through the powerful corporation while freeing your friends too. You could play this in four player split screen with eight different multiplayer modes, there's lots to do. Part two is more of the same but expanded including 12 new single player story levels. And of course you can invite your friends in new cup and multiplayer modes too. Both adventures are really highly recommended. A Hat in Time is a game that you play as a tiny space traveling girl with a large top hat. Her journey is interrupted when her fuel is lost. The time pieces are spread across a nearby planet and your adventure then begins as you need to jump, fight and stitch together new hats so you can find all the time pieces. This is a great little game and another platformer that if you've not played yet you should consider. Super Lucky's Tale is a wonderful 3D platformer, one which was made by the developers as a love letter to some of those great early 3D platform games. And here we have a fantastic looking world with our protagonist being an adorable fox. Your adventure begins to rescue the Book of Ages from the mysterious Jinx and his nefarious kitty litter. Here you have it all from boss battles, puzzles to solve, exploration and lots of platforming action in both 3D and some parts in 2D. One of the finest additions is the movable camera giving the game and the player a massive quality of life improvement. Everything's been improved here and this is a game on this list which is one of my particular favourites. Here we have a simple platformer in Tori 3D, one of the cheapest that's on this list, but very playable indeed. If speeding through levels is for you, then this is your game. There are nine levels here and you can leave your best times on the leaderboards, giving this a competitive feel. It's fast paced, has a low poly look to it. It's not for everyone, but we definitely think it deserves its place on this list purely on how cheap it is and how playable it is for the money. Blue Fire is a game that really surprised us because whilst it has its problems, it's still a very fun platforming adventure. Here you travel through the mysterious world of Penumbra, discovering the secrets and mysteries of this long forgotten world. There are platforming challenges, quests as well as taking on enemies. There are plenty of upgrades here to keep on top of slashing through the vast array of enemies. There are a few performance issues and the combat is not what it could be, but overall it's a worthwhile game on this list for you to consider. 
Human Fall Flat is a hilarious physics-based platformer, and what we love about it is the movement of the character, not making things easy for you. You will try to navigate the levels, often having accidents with hilarious consequences. The great thing about this is you can play it solo or with up to eight other players with some fantastically funny results. Nothing better than watching a friend fall flat on their ass and enjoying the banter as a result. There are two brand new levels out there called Golf and City where you can take on golf, crossbows, basketballs and even bowling. This game is an absolute must. Now I thought I'd better take this one on because uh, Jordan's had enough of SpongeBob SquarePants to last him a lifetime. I think he might go a little bit nuts if he has to talk about it anymore. So, it's good news for you if you are a fan of the series because Spongebob and all of your favourite characters including Patrick and Sandy are back and are playable as well. And, but also this adventure is a decent game which makes our list. Plankton has an evil plan to rule Bikini Bottom and it is your job to stop him in this platforming adventure. It is colourful, the gameplay is pretty tight and it's a game that faithfully recreates what the fans love so much about the series and you can't go wrong with a game that can be enjoyed by everyone in their family. Ukulele is a great 3D platformer and we think one of the main things that makes good platformers is fun, of course, charming, relatable characters and Ukulele certainly has that in this fun duo team of a chameleon Yuka and our purple friend Lely. This duo have to stop capital B in taking all of the world's books. It is a charming and colourful adventure and the game has all the ingredients to make it fun. There are puzzles as well as challenges on your way with lots of characters to meet and bosses to take on. There's a hybrid adventure worth checking out too called Ukulele and the Impossible Layer but that one is strictly in 2D. So we argued whether Sonic Forces should be on this list because quite frankly it even divides our opinion. Some of us rather enjoyed it and others did not but we think it just about deserves a go on here. It is by no means anywhere near as good as say Sonic Mania on the Switch but we also don't think that it's as bad as some people may have made out. It has a bunch of new ideas, some 3D and 2D levels. We like the visuals here and the character customization, and there are some fun levels although rather short. There are plenty of better games on this list, but if you love Sonic then this may be for you if you can find it for a cheaper price. There is a physical too, which is always a bonus in our view, and we will have a link in the description. And that is the last game from me today, thanks everyone, I'll see you soon in our weekly physical series. Now something a little bit different, Pumpkin Jack is a more spooky entry in this list. You are the mythical Pumpkin Lord and you are helping evil annihilate the good. Certainly different to always being the good guy. We love the worlds created here, the lightning effects and the atmosphere created are great as well. Here you jump, run and crawl and help to deliver the devil's will by taking on all the enemies that oppose you. I found it very enjoyable. Now that is the last one from me folks, thanks very much Juan and Jordan and if you're still watching, we'll see you on the next one. In Scully, a skull washes up on a mysterious island and it's reawakened by a deity. You have been summoned to intervene in a war between the deity's three siblings. It's all about jumping and dodging obstacles and you can transform into three forms to overcome certain challenges from enemies. There are 18 differing levels here, seven different environments and we like the visuals and while the game itself is not the very best on this list, it certainly we feel has a place. The added benefit of voice dialogue certainly adds to the story. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here and you're still watching. You're an absolute legend. I want to thank James and Jordan for joining me too. If you enjoyed this video, then leave me a thumbs up in the comments. And don't forget to let me know what your favorite game is on this list for your chance to win one of those wonderful controllers by Easy. SMX. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so we can notify you when our new videos go live and of course so we can alert you if you're a winner of one of those easy SMX controllers where you'll find out either on our weekly bargains video on Sunday or our weekly physical video that goes live every single Monday. Take care everybody, we'll see you again on the next one.